to Madden 18 on EA Sports. One key thing to watch today will be the battle in the trenches. The Panthers are top 10 in rush yards allowed, and they're going up against the Redskins team that will need to figure out how much he can count on the run. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Washington Redskins and the Carolina Panthers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They run again with Ware. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. And there's a run to be happy with. Good Take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now it's Newton. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And oh, a good hit there and knocked down hard right there around the 35-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a first down throw for Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. 
This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a solid run down inside the 30. Now they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> so the opening drive for him here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. Your stadium, your crowd, you've got the ball, put points on the board first, and let everyone start to celebrate. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. of a full three yards and now it's second down. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Here's Bortles to throw. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Adam Humphreys deep to return. Kicks away as he angles this one. For the this one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdown, Carolina. Spencer Ware, 95 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again. <laughs> and again. And again. again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Now here's Bryant to kick it away.
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves, and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Bortles going to throw, and Reed with it over the middle. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. And the O-line will have to do a better job protecting here on third down after that sack. Shotgun now for Bortles. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. He was all over that route defensively. Now, they had two picks last week as a unit. Couldn't quite grab that one. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. <laughs> it's early in this game, but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in, but at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. By the way, where did the Grasshopper <laughs> thing come from? I know it's been around for a long time. Yeah, you know, I'll have to tell you that some other time. All right, back to football. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. They run it here. Where? And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. To throw on second down is Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Throwing on third down, Newton. He's going to go deep for Funches. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. On the ground, this is Ware. And they in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. like right at the 40. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. 
Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? And he's going to get this one all the way up past the 20-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You know I should be really happy after that play? The offensive line. To be able to create space in that situation when everything's jammed in and everyone knows you're going to run it, that's a big time. Because you're probably just thinking, hey, let's get to the four or five and get some breathing room, right? That's all you're asking for. That's all your punter's asking for. Instead, he's not necessary now. Second down into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Thomas Davis and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Throwing is Newton. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. On third down, Newton. He's going to fire one deep over the... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. <laughs> And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Well, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Chris Thompson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Redskins get the quick strike touchdown. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Blitz coming and down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On the run, it's Ware. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. Well, as an offense, you know, some drives you have it, some drives you don't. And this one looks like a you don't. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it was third and long. It was screaming for a pass. I think they tried to outguess him there with the running play. They didn't fool him at all. Went in the wrong direction. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Redskins will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On the ground, it's Thompson. And some space here. There he goes inside the 30. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When well, they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Again, a run with Thompson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Chris Thompson with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Redskins are able to strike for six. On the NFL scoreboard, an update from up in Seattle. And early on, the driver's seat belongs to the Seahawks. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. This one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. A handoff as they run the counter play. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, on the ground. Newton on third down. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. The 20, 10, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Redskins touchdown. I don't know who all 
is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Around the NFL, we've got a second quarter score. And the Chiefs have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back. Funches is free. 30. 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Devin Funches, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. <laughs> And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively. We'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down is Bortles. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. For midfield, here's Bortles. Over the middle complete. It's Hopkins. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. On first and ten, here's Bortles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he will be his time has run out on this first half. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Redskins who have the lead here. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando, where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Meanwhile, out in Los Angeles, they're in the second quarter now. It's the Rams that have grabbed the early lead. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they're through the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now Thompson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. So second down, three yards to go now. This is Kareem Williams, his first carry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face a third down. From the gun, it's Bortles. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because Tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> and on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And to give this time to the tailback. Ware breaking the tackle. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. And on the ground they go with a running back. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Panthers on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Stewart on the counter. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. Twenty-one yards. Well done on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and ten. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. 
On first down, Bortles. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Thompson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time. He's reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. From the gun on third down, Bortles. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. A big play there for the Panthers. 43 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And Bryant's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> and this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And here come the Redskins now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now they'll run it on the toss. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now Bortles. On the catch, it's Crowder. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you've got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now running right through him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Four yards remaining now on second down. Flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Thompson, his third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Try the right side here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. To throw on third down, Newton. And he finds a man. Olsen and he's finally taken down but not before getting across midfield and across the 45 yard line they run the counter now on 
first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you learn? You can still make plays even when the other guy's having success against you. Going to give this time to the tailback. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Newton. He'll rifle this one deep. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by DJ Swearinger. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. And now defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. They run it here with Thompson. And they'll get him down here at the 23. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Takes this up just short of the tackle. Nice move. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Here we go now. Move 45. Portal's going to look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He finds an opening past the 40. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. down carry it's Williams and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain the Panthers are going to take another timeout that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play they'll swear they're into the fourth at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago we got a good one going on there if they can hold on the win would be number eight for them on the campaign See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that should just about do it. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Right. 
The Redskins, they can smell victory now. They take a knee. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Washington, the win moves them to 8-7 and seven now on the year. And